Hello my amazing people, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I want to show you how you can enable front-end user submission of content. Now this content may include text and images, and the good thing is that it's going to be free and secure. So let's jump straight in and get started. The kind of post we are going to submit from the front end of your, our website is going to look just something like this with a featured image, the title, and of course the content itself. Now once it is submitted, it will appear in the submitted post as pending preview. So we can actually set this up as pending preview depending on someone's history of submitting content on this website. Or we can even make it like if someone goes beyond 10 posts when they are submitting content on this website, automatically all the other posts will be published once they submit them. Now the other thing that will enable the author's name and also the categories and also we can enable them to provide tags for that content. Now this is how our front end form which our users will be using to submit will be looking like. For example, this is the title of the page itself. So I basically created the page but you can also add this form in widgets in your WordPress website. You can add it in Elementor as a short code. You can add it in a post. You can add it in a page. You can add it in widgets of your WordPress website. And these are the fields we collect from whoever is trying to submit the post, their name, the email, post title, post tags, and also a test question. And also down here they will select which category this post will be submitted into and then they will have to enter in their post. They can format it using this rich text editor and down here below they will have to upload their images. And then they can also agree to the terms and submit the post. They can reset the form after submitting and down below here the post that are submitted will be showing up. Now let's jump straight in and get started. So the number one thing you're going to log into your WordPress website and you're going to go to add a new plugin and you're going to come over here to add a new plugin and you'll search for a plugin called user submitted posts. It will show up over here, simply install and activate. Once you have it activated, then you're going to go straight into your plugins area and under the plugins area, you'll have to simply navigate and locate it over here, user submitted forms, simply click on the settings option. Now this is where we have to set up what we want to collect from whoever wants to submit content on the front end of our website. In this case, we want the username to be required by selecting over here, enable and require. Someone also has to provide us their email. We don't want to collect their URL or their website. For the case of the tags, we will enable them, but not required. And then for the post category, uh, we are going to make sure that they are required so that when someone is submitting the post, they have to categorize wherever that post is attached to. Then the post content, then it is required. And then the custom field, we aren't going to add any custom fields. And then over here, the challenge to question, yeah, we are going to enable it. And for the Google recapture, of course, you can enable the Google recapture by adding the capture form on this website. But in this case, we're not going to enable it. Then down here, we want to enable that someone is able to upload images. Now, down below here, there are some settings or general settings on how each of that form will act like when someone enables it or disables it. Now, for example, when you come over here to the form styling, we want to use the default you know, HTML5. This is the one that is provided by this plugin. We are going to leave most of this thing at default, but some of the most important things are the post status. We want when someone uploads this content, it's going to go into the pending category. That is when someone submits the post. Or we can simply say publish after three approved posts. Now, this is really good because if someone has been publishing content and everything has been okay, I need so we don't have, have always to review this content. Or we can simply say publish after 20 approved posts. So I'll just leave it at pending preview. And then once someone submits the content, where will they be redirected? In this case, I want simply to show a success message. We want also to enable the rich text editor, which is what you see over here. Just like this, when someone is able to format, you know, the headings, add links and stuff like that to their content. We also want that someone is able to agree to the terms and conditions uh, that we have set up. This is what you see down below here. Okay. Uh, we want to enable that someone to add categories and these are already created categories in our WordPress website, which is just right under here on post categories. And that's where you create up your categories. Down below here, you'll be able to give options on whoever is going to be submitting content. So in this case, we only have three options and this is what you see over right here. Now someone has the option to select whether this content is going to only be categorized under that specific category. And here we can also enable someone to select multiple categories for that piece of content. Down below here, we're going to come to the security challenge question. In this case, I simply just made up this, but I can say maybe it's going to be 11 
plus maybe seven and then we add here an answer and if you have enabled the google recapture this is where you're going to add your public and secret keys i have a specific tutorial about adding your google recapture to your wordpress website i'm going to link it down in the uh, description box below um you can also enable email alerts and how they are going to look like when you receive them and to which email they'll be coming through and down below here under the images section we want to enable that someone has the capacity to upload images but we can say set the submitted images as a featured image and in this case we're only allowing one image and this is the image dimensions make sure that this is the standard dimension for your website otherwise if they are going to upload something bigger than this it won't be accepted then we are going to leave all the other things on default and i simply going to save now what we need to do is now to create a page and we are going to come down here on the display form and we are going to be using this short course to display these forms on the front end of our website so what we are going to do is now we have to come here to our pages and we're going to create a new page and we're going to name this page uh, user submission or we can say front end submission something of that sort I'm going to publish so after publishing our page if we look at it at the moment it's basically empty just like that now we're going to enable our form just right here so we're going to come back here to our form and we're going to select you know the form we're going to use this short code come back here to our uh, page we're going to select a block by clicking over here and then we're going to look up for a short code block we add it and we update on previewing boom we have now our form embedded on the front end and you see we are collecting all these fields you know the name email the post title and also the categories we also have the rich text editor over here and someone is able to submit an image and down below here they are able to agree to the terms now one more other thing we have to enable is someone to be able to reset this form after submission and also to see the list of submitted posts so we're going to come back here to our short codes we're going to simply just go here below we are going to look up for this display submitted posts and also we are going to look up for uh, the reset form button first i'm going to copy this i'm going to come over here we're going to add another short code and we are going to simply paste that and then next we're going to add another short code or another block for the short code going to come back here up and then we are going to select the display post short code and then we are going to paste it and we are going to simply update then we will preview okay cool so now when you see over here we have our reset form button and also our already submitted posts now what we are going to do i'm going to add a title for this section so i'm going to say add a new heading going to get the heading block i'm going to say submitted posts i'm going to simply make it an h an h3 make it bold i'm going to move it up after the short code to display the already already submitted posts we're going to update and we are going to preview okay let's look at it boom we have it over here now let's try to use a new browser to submit the form so i load up my page okay so my form has loaded up now we are going to try to submit a post so i'm going to add my name let me say i'm joseph i'm joseph a my email and my post title is how to submit from uh, front end and the post tags we are going to say blogging uh, wordpress maybe tips and tricks and the text uh, answer is 18 uh, and then down below here we are going to select you know 
to which category this post belongs because we also enabled multiple selection of categories and now here we're going to add our content so let me just copy this dummy text okay we are going to add it here we can also add you know block codes we can align we can do whatever we want and that's all now down below here we are going to select an image and this is going to be set as our featured image remember the image should be fitting in the image dimensions that you set up you have to agree to the terms and we're going to submit the post boom the post has been submitted now let's go and check it up in the back end so as an admin i'll come back here to the back end of our website i'm going to simply just come over here come to the post sections all posts and boom you're going to see that we have a pending post how to submit from front end submitted by joseph in these categories and these are the tags now before we do anything further let me take you back and i show you why we actually had to enable the reset button so i come back here and now you realize we no longer have our form so now if someone wants to submit another post what they simply have to do is to reset the form and boom the form is back to be used again now let's go back and look into our posts so we are going to come here to the back end and we are going to edit our post or we can simply preview it and we see how it looks like boom our featured image is already there selected just like we had set it up we have our title and down below here our content and that's it so in case we simply want to approve this post so we simply just come over here simply say quick edit and we're going to say here and say publish update so now when we come over here to our front front end form we are going to reload and then we are going to look into the submitted posts to see how it looks like boom now we have a second post that has been submitted from the front end and this is how it looks like when we click over there it opens up we have our featured image we have our content over right there so in a nutshell that's how you can enable front end user submission of content in a simple secure and free way now you can use the same tricks to do it in elementor by simply adding your shortcode widget in elementor and then you can display a form anywhere on your wordpress website now if you like this tutorial please don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions or comments please let me know down in the comment box below otherwise have a good time and see you in the next video goodbye